coin, the temple, taxes, and a census have in common. Guys, we're going to expose this coin. You see who's on it? You have two faces. One is Donald Trump. The other is King Cyrus. You have two seals. One is United States, Babylon. The other is Persia. Just like it says in Daniel 8. Now, this coin is very significant. And it's my hope that we, we get two things from this message, you guys. First off, we're going to expose what this is. Okay, it's a deep mystery. My, my hope is that you understand the concept. My other hope is that you overcome the beast. Okay? You cannot serve God and money. Mammon. Okay? Now, in this message, I'm going to say a lot of things that will be very controversial to many of you. And before you criticize me and say, you don't know what you're talking about, let me ask you this. In two and a half years, I've been through 15 countries with this message. Okay? I've done it by faith. I've done it without asking money. Okay? I've done it without working a job. How have I done it? I've done it by the things I'm teaching you. If you understand the things I'm saying, you will learn how to live by the currency of heaven. Okay? By the seal and authorization. In fact, this, you can see this here, see that paw, this coin? Um, you'll see this in many of the videos for many years. You can see what it says, lion. This is the coin I live by, the kingdom of heaven. Okay, and I've been sharing with you how the treasury rooms, these concepts works in heaven, how we can live in his house. But what we have to do is we have to overcome the beast. We have to go into history and explain and understand what is going on here. There's something called the shekel of the sanctuary. These concepts works in heaven, how we can live in his house. But what we have to do is we have to overcome the beast. We have to go into history and explain and understand what is going on here. There's something called the shekel of the sanctuary. You see, this is a coin. You can see on the back is a temple. So this is the Donald Trump coin. Uh, we're going to look at this closely and I'll show you everything that it says on it. Um, this is the image of the beast. Okay. What they're doing is counterfeiting a principle that goes back to Moses. It's called the shekel of the sanctuary. All right. Let's talk about this. What is the shekel of the sanctuary? Right? You have a face on the coin. You have a temple. Now, let's, let's talk now about the time of Yeshua, the time of the Lord Jesus Christ. When, when they came to him, they says, does, does your master pay taxes? Okay. And he said, on whose face, whose image, okay, in Greek that's eklon, uh, eklekon, or something, I may not be pronouncing it right, but when it says the image of the beast, it's the same word as the image on the coin. He said, on whose face is the image and what is the inscription and he said Caesar now what's going on there is the, the Jews are not an independent state they are run by Caesar okay but who is it that owns you okay why is there a face why is there a temple because that's who owns you Okay, so the, the system is counting the people, okay, in a census. So in, in, in those stories, they, it's the same word in Greek as census. Okay, so what they're doing is they're counting the people and they're giving a half a shekel. Okay, does your master pay taxes? <laughs> now Peter said yes, so we already gave the answer. 
Well, the answer is no. Why? Because that's whose the face is on the coin is who owns you. And that's why the Jews were astonished by him. Because he was pointing out the fact that whose image is on the coin. Okay? Then he said, give unto Caesar what's due unto Caesar. And give unto God what's due unto God. Now, what we do is we don't give unto this system. It's by the blood of the lamb that we're redeemed. It's not about coins. Okay? But it's by the blood of the lamb that we're redeemed. Okay? And it even talks about that in an offering of ignorance for the ram that's according to the shekel of the sanctuary. I'll put a link about the, the precise verse there, but I'm just going through the story to explain to you what's going on. So what he's, what's happening is at his, this time, see, the Caesar is counting the Jews to kill them in a holocaust. Okay, guys, the same thing is going on. It's right here. They're counting the people for a different house, for a false temple. And then they're going to kill him. Now, how do we know this? Well, we know the story of Esther. We know the story of Haman. Two faces. One is Donald Trump. The other is King Cyrus. You have two seals. One is United States, Babylon. The other is Persia. Build Jerusalem after 70 years. And that's what the Persian Empire, the symbol of the lion, has always been the symbol of the Roman Empire and the reign of King Cyrus. Guys, look, the lion is Trump. Okay, so they got the symbol of the lion, but that's Trump. Trump is the lion. I'll, I'll put a video in. I've already talked about this. Trump's the lion, okay? And the king of Babylon, the seal of America, to express joy and gratitude to the President Donald Trump for moving the American embassy to Jerusalem. Okay, that happened on the Cyrus decree. We, I, guys, I'll put a link. I'll show you. I told you about the Cyrus decree on the 24th day of the ninth month, 2017. That was 70 years. Okay, now we're in the second year. President Trump is advanced a prophetic process that will usher in, when the time comes, the rebuilding of the third temple. Let me say that again. President Trump is advancing a prof coin calls for a continuation of the ingathering of Jewish exiles to all the corners of the globe, like doves coming back to their nest to the land of Israel, Jerusalem, and the temple. As of the answer the verse, written in Hebrew and English and Aramaic, which describes the people coming back to the land of Israel. Okay, let's take a look at the coin a little bit. Try to give you a little bit of a close-up. Okay. All right, so there you can see, to fulfill 70 years, you have Trump, you have Cyrus, you have the seal, you have Trump is the lion. Okay, that's in Daniel chapter 7. He's the lion with two wings of an eagle. You can see everything is perfectly described right here, guys. This is Daniel chapter 7. And you have to fulfill 70 years. And if we go to the other side, we have the temple. See, it's the temple coin. The, uh, I asked someone what this word is. I don't know how to say it, but it means like currency. Um, and then it's ha mikdash. That's the temple. And in Arabic. And it says, you can see in English, like doves to the nest. That's Isaiah uh, 60, verse 8. So, guys, thanks for watching. I can't impress upon you enough the importance of the work we've already done to describe this, okay? For some of these, for some of you, these concepts might be very new, but you, you can see that these are things we've been talking about for years, okay? So please watch the shekel of the sanctuary. Please watch the Cyrus decree, okay? Please watch how we sacrifice, how do we exchange from this world system into his system, okay? I have a video on that, the pillars in the temple. Guys, watch and pray that you be counted worthy to escape all these things. Isos Christos name, amen.